think Jagged Little Pill is one of the first albums I heard as an adult that spoke to me. I don't remember anything having such a profound effect on me at any point in my life as that did. And the first time I listened to it in full was as we were driving up to Coffs Harbour in New South Wales to record The Other Side. That album is something that taught me about transparency and authenticity. The mood that I was in, what kind of music I was listening to before Jagged Little Pill was Rage Against the Machine, the self-titled record. And those were my two favourite records going into making The Other Side and making Limitless. Those kind of couple of years and they were the albums I listened to before I went on stage. Both artists really affected me but they were, both, they were kind of on different ends of the spectrum. Rage obviously has rage and anger and so does Linus Morissette but there's that real softness, tenderness, vulnerability, exposed nature of being like a feminine artist and I really love that. I felt when I was listening to Jagged Little Pill that I was hearing my thoughts. I was hearing my emotions, my story. And it turns out that Alanis Morissette and I are both born on the 1st of June. And I really think that has a huge like, part in my feeling connected to her. Alanis Morissette is a huge role model for me because I feel, um, feel that it's so relatable to see someone trying to harness their masculine energy while exploring their feminine energy. And I think that's only something I'm learning how to do now through our record Underworld and Crack My Heart is a song that really speaks about that cracking of the heart to, to become more open and tender and soft. And I was reading just today that the most commonly accepted feminine expression of pain is sadness and sorrow. And it's okay to see a woman like that, but it's not okay to see her angry. So I think you know, being in a band since I was 16 and being around men and boys all the time um, has not allowed me to come into my feminine energy or my womanhood until now because I feel that now I'm in an empowered position to do that. This knowing that she wrote the songs in half an hour and they were just like a pure expression of self and they were unfiltered. When I hear the record now, all I see is myself in the back seat of Jake's car driving up to Coffs Harbour as a 20-year-old going to make a record and, and feeling like, why didn't I hear this sooner? Why did I not download this record sooner and play it every single day and let it influence my being, let alone my songwriting? Um, that I see yeah, like a younger version of myself that was, did not realise how hungry I was to feel that kind of resonance with another person, even if they're a stranger to me.